Yo, what is up guys? How you guys doing? In today's video, I'll be reviewing a brand new G Fuel flavor that I'm excited for. I've been waiting a long time for this. They delayed this flavor so many times, like twice, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure two or three times around there. And I'm excited. We finally got the Honey Berry G Fuel flavor with the collector's box with the exclusive figure and some other goods that are inside we ordered this like almost a year ago it's been like what six seven months that they delayed it so we had to wait a long time or it's probably less i'm probably overreacting but it's been a long time so i know many of you guys forgotten about this flavor back then i for sure did it until they sent me a message that an item is shipping and i checked it out it was honeyberry so we finally got it i'm excited for this I'm excited. Honey berry sounds very interesting. I'm, I'm guessing it's gonna be like a honey blueberry flavor, or something like that. So just by the name, I'll leave the flavor profile with the top in the screen, just to let you guys know what the flavor is supposed to be. But enough of the you know chit chat. You guys came here for the review. Oh, we got the honey berry G Fuel collector's box, inspired by a popular OG game remastered and old banjo kazusi kazusi i think that's how you pronounce it i heard about the game i seen gameplay but never played it myself so i don't really know a lot about it but there is ban banjo kazusi with g fuel with youtube as well the exclusive toy and it looks like we're gonna have two figures instead of one all gold i'm excited for this I really am. It's been a while since we ordered this and it came late, but like the hype is still there, you know, the excitement, you know, because this sounds like an interesting flavor. I ain't gonna lie. But let me show you guys this collector's box that we have here. There you guys go. We have Honeyberry up top, Banjo Kazuzi, the game, collector's box, and the toy company, U2's G4 Energy Formula, the nice theme of the front you know with the wooden tree for its background gold gold is called bottom we have the two figures right there gold in the same background and we have a full look of the background it's a forest theme you know with the you know instruments with you know the variety of details for the grass trees big log over there other things and the company that uh, the game company and with G Fuel rare LTD with the figures again like the other side that's pretty much what we have for the collector's box pretty nice all right let's open the sucker up i'm excited for this let me show you guys the toy first no there's no shaker in this sadly only the flavor and the toy that's all but this is the what's it called tub and we got the toy and we got an exclusive sticker let's go <laughs> let me show you guys the sticker first right there ladies and gentlemen that's the sticker the two gold characters the bird and the bear i'm pretty sure g fuel and ban banjo kazoo in the company with the license all right let's start off with the toy let me show you guys the box design and then i'll open the sucker up that is the box of the exclusive toy what's that say from banjo banjo kazoo other little details gold theme the quality of the box is really nice and then the background just like the collector's box top to bottom let's open the sucker up oh, i'm just gonna open it the other way there you guys go look at that i'm not gonna open it fully i'm just gonna show you guys but that is the banjo kazusi on the collect you know the box with the toy inside but you guys can really see the bird in the background right there with the banjo out front the bear right there the number the company everything just like a funko pop so you guys will know so this is pretty nice this is my second youtube's toy to collect my first one was the blue ice from a while ago i'll leave the picture in the screen which one i'm talking about and this is my second one i it caught my interest a couple of times like for my favorite youtubers and content creators but then i managed to copy it back then because it didn't caught my interest but now i kind of regret it <laughs> but it's, it's whatever now we have the tub I love the design of this. The gold theme really is outstanding. With the bear, with that piece, with that piece. Love this. Right there, we got the bear with the piece. 
we got the bird in the background as everything inside of the whole collector's box the same thing G for energy formula honey berry inspired by banjo kazusi the same concept as the collector's box and the YouTube's toys the forest background with the instruments the big log tree that blue background right there I don't know if that's a building or something with the green and the gold in the bottom Porsche I wish they change up for energy focus during reaction but they didn't and that's pretty much what we have for the tub just the gold on this is just very nice the theme makes it suitable the forest theme as well I like that alright I'm gonna give it a quick smell Alright. Ooh, that smells good. That really smells good. <sighs> Kinda reminds me of a sweet tart candy. Yeah, it does. Hmm. It smells interesting. Let's see if it tastes any good. I'll be right back. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. I got this all shaked up. The color scheme is very interesting. It's like a bit of green and yellow mixed together kind of run through a pee <laughs> but let's open this up give it a smell and then taste this I still get the sweet tart smell but it's, it's less the powder is stronger but this time is less mm, very interesting let's, moment of truth let's try out honey berry let's see if this flavor is the bomb let's see if it's worth the hype and the long wait Hopefully, G Fuel, you don't disappoint me. Cheers. Once again, they didn't disappoint. Let me add a little bit more because that ice is melting too quick. Okay, I think that's enough. Let's retry this. Hmm. Hmm. That tastes really good, honestly. I thought the honey is gonna be like more thicker, more like uh, the actual syrup for this flavor. But no, it tastes like nice and soggy, you know, like in liquid form. The way they transition it was called, but you, they got an accurate honey taste. And then the berry comes out as a berry, of course, but the texture will kind of taste like a sweet tart because that's what the vibe, the feeling I'm getting for some reason. I might be wrong, but like. I do for sure taste the berry, but in a different texture form than I expected. Mm. But the combination so far is really good. Honey, then berry. No sourness at all. There's no sourness, not even 1% of sourness. It's all sweet. That was the best part, but even better. It's not super, super duper sweet. It's not between sweet. It's like a nice light sweetness. So. That's another good reason about behind this flavor that didn't went too much with the sweetness texture. Mm. And for some reason, it's somehow smooth, like balanced, smooth. Those two, I wouldn't say any other than those two words, cause it just the way they perfected the honey and the berry together. It was like a nice balanced choice with each end and then the smoothest comes out nicely what's called you don't feel no powder or extra stuff on each end of the flavor no aggressive or none of that because it's a pretty light flavor a nice smooth flavor so you can enjoy drink not worry about anything and then you know go out with a nice balanced drink <sighs> yeah Honey berry so far it hasn't disappointed me. Was it worth the wait? Yes, it was. Was it worth the hype? Yes, it was. Worth it worth everything. Oh, definitely. This sucker right here, honey berry, is really worth it. Honestly, I'm sad that I didn't grab another tub. I'm pretty sure they're in stock right now. They're just restocking recently. Just the tub, not the collector's box. I don't know if the collector's box will be restocked ever, but this flavor was worth it honestly like everything about it like balance from smooth into like a good way to enjoy a different um drink because honey and berry this is the first time we ever got a honey flavor i'm pretty sure uh, besides hive nectar i'm not sure that's a bit of honey in there but 
other than that this is probably the other the other or the only honey flavor that we got with the different fruit not like a well-known fruit it's like a different fruit that Jeep hasn't used in a while probably berry because they don't really see them with berry flavors so that's a nice combination honey and berry i love it if i had to give percentages sorry i'm burping a lot if i had to give percentages for honey berry i say about they're about even i think 50 50. let me grab one more sip honestly yeah i'll say 50 50. 50 50 that's why it makes it balance because it's 50 50. i taste 50 percent of the honey 50 percent of the berry equals 100. perfect combination right there juicy new to experience as well so this is worth it right here ladies and gentlemen this is worth it i highly recommend for sure if i had to rate it as well give a nice juicy rating it broke the scale it's infinite to 10. <laughs> infinite to 10. so this flavor was the bomb right here for sure I, I, to just to give you guys an accurate number i'll say 10 out of 10. yeah that's pretty much what i have in today's video the review we can review everything the sticker everything i wish they came out with the um shaker exclusively for this but they didn't sadly but i'd love to see it in the future thank you guys for watching thank you guys for the love and support that i've been getting lately and i'll catch you all on the next one peace